Hello, this is the headlining news across the East African region from Tanzania. A Tanzanian district measuring about half a million hectares in area has cried out investors to step up operations. The state-owned daily news reports that Wuyuyi district doesn't even have a single fuel station. There is no single hotel and not even one financial institution. The district has big agriculture and tourism potential. News from Uganda, a nasty road accident that claimed seven lives in eastern Uganda and critically injured several others has been blamed on recklessness by the driver of a commuter taxi. Police say the driver was trying to overtake in a blind corner on the Jinja Iganga Highway when he rammed into a minibus coming from the opposite direction. Moving on to Kenya, Kenya's president, Uhuru Kenyatta, has blasted his cabinet for incompetence and accused them of greed. The president said that his ministers have an insatiable thirst for money, yet they are very slow to implement even the simplest of projects, for which demand billions of shillings to execute. Finally, from Rwanda, over 1,170 students have missed the 2018 secondary school leaving national examinations. This, according to the State Minister for Primary and Secondary Education, Isaac Munyakazi, was due to issues between students and their respective schools, and some have been ill. The absentees include 855 candidates for all level and 315 A-level candidates, most of them are from from urban districts. And that was the headlining news across the East African region.